Hi everyone. As you can hear, I don't have much voice, but I didn't want you to miss out and get behind, so I thought I'd make this video for you. You remember last week I introduced the concept of the mole. A mole is just a number, a collective noun if you will. Just like a dozen is also a collective noun, which means there are 12 items. A mole is equal to 6 by 10 to the 23 items. As you can see, it is a very large number. And just like a pair is equal to two items, if we take half a pair, it's equal to one item. If we take a dozen eggs, then half a dozen is equal to six. We're just dividing it through by two. Similarly, if you have one mole is equal to six by 10 to the 23 items, then half a mole is just equal to half that number. We can express this mathematically as n, the number of moles, is equal to big N, the number of items, divided by big N A, which is Avogadro's number. Lots of Ns, I know, but if you use this triangle, it'll help you remember how they actually put, fit together into the formula. So why did chemists pick this weird number? is 6 by 10 to the 23. That's because it's exactly equal to the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon. And coincidentally, 12 is the atomic mass of carbon. This means that the mass of one mole is equal to the atomic mass expressed in grams. And since all the other elements' atomic mass are relative to carbon, that means that the mass of one mole of any element is equal to its atomic mass expressed in grams. That means instead of having to count out atoms, we can actually weigh them out and get, the, and get a number which is much easier for our calculations. Again, we can express this number of moles, but this time in terms of mass rather than number of items. So here we have that the number of moles is equal to the mass, which is little m, divided by the molar mass, which can be calculated by adding up the atomic masses from the periodic table. And just like we did with numbers, we can do the same thing with mass. Since the relative atomic mass of magnesium is 24, one mole of magnesium weighs 24 grams. That means that two moles of magnesium would weigh 48 grams. Half a mole of magnesium would weigh 12 grams. And a third of mole of magnesium would weigh 8 grams. So expressing this as a picture, if we put moles in the centre, if we want to go to the mass of the substance, we just multiply by its molar mass. If we want to go to how many atoms or molecules there are, we would multiply by Avogadro's number, the 6 by 10 to the 23. If you can remember this, you'll find all sorts of calculations very, very simple to do. Since we know that the number of moles is equal to the number of items divided by Avogadro's number, and we also know that the number of moles is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass. It follows that if we want to put this together, the number of items divided by Avogadro's number is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass. And by manipulating this, we can do all sorts of calculations. So, for example, if we wanted to work out how many water molecules there were in a milligram of a snowflake, we first of all start with the information we know. We know that the mass is equal to 10 to the minus 3 grams, because we have to always work in grams. And we know that the molar mass is equal to 18 by adding up the atomic masses. Now we want to find out how many water molecules there are, so that's an Na, that we're, the, an, a number N that we're looking at. But we also know that Na is equal to 6 by 10 to the 23. So we know that mass divided by molar mass is equal to the number of items divided by 6 by 10 to the 23. So manipulating that, we have our mass, which is 10 to the minus 3, divided by the molar mass, 18. Number of molecules is what we want to find out, and 6 by 10 to the 23 is our Avogadro's number. Changing this around and working out the calculation, we get the number of molecules is equal to 3.3 by 10 to the minus 10 to the 19.